Uh, James, good morning. Uh, morning. What's the latest on Fraser Kerr? He's got a scan today. Uh, I'll know more in the next 24 hours, so probably be able to update you after the game tomorrow. Gavin Gunning was, was struggling as well at the weekend. Do you have an update on him? Yeah, we're assessing it now. Can't give you an update. Um, we're hoping he'll train today um, with a view to tomorrow. It's got to be a hope, hasn't it, given the, the, the difficulties you've got with injuries at the moment? Yeah, it's part and parcel of it. Um, I don't want to weep too much about it. We've got a, a strong squad here. And whoever gets the opportunity tomorrow needs to take it because we're at the, the crunch time. I appreciate, I mean, it might sound obvious, but how restricted have your options become, not just for sorting out what you do in, in terms of a starting eleven, but also the amount of changes you can make and, and tactical tweaks you can make in-game with the injuries you're dealing with right now? Yeah, it's sort of underlined. Obviously, Jack came on at right back and done very well, and that's what we need to do. We need to make sure whoever comes on to the pitch or starts the game place to their maximum and I'm, I, I thought Jack done really well at right back obviously we changed our shape a little bit at the start of the game had to tweak it again because of the the unfortunate inju injury to Fraser but the different types of injuries we're getting obviously that was a full-blooded tackle that's what I want from my players um, and that's what we want from the from the stands I'm sure the supporters want us to be fully committed which Fraser was in that challenge unfortunately uh, he's come out the wrong end of it and uh, had to come off have you ever known a season quite like it for, for injuries? I know you don't want to go on about this too much, but I mean, it's it's, it's a really difficult circumstance for you. Yeah, it's. Uh, I shouldn't be laughing really because it's actually affecting obviously our form. Um, but having said that, in the last in the last five, the performances have been really good. Um, I think we've been really strong and back to our best after a little blip. I know we lost a couple of the, out of the last five, but in general. We've played very well um, in snippets and in flashes. Certainly on on Saturday, we really opened them up, played some really good football. Could have scored more than four, um, and you can only beat the opponent in front of you, and we did that comfortably. What would you like to be better uh, from Saturday to Tuesday? Because I appreciate there were some parts of the performance you, you weren't completely happy with. It was, it was more the second half, really. Uh, we didn't really um, shift up the gears that I wanted. Um, I thought Jack Clark had a really good impact towards the back end of the game. Uh, he's really comfortable in possession. He scored a goal, created another one for for Danny when he played him down the side, and Danny should have done better with his shot. So I was really pleased with, with Jack's input, but I was also impressed with the ones that came into the team that perhaps hadn't got, had game time recently. Uh, Joe, Marcus, and Tom, um, you know, to score three in the first half, and they were part part of those goals as well. Obviously, Tom with the deliveries. Marcus with the tap in and Joe got the corner for the third one so all of them had impacts as well so I'm, I'm, I was impressed really with the, the general performance um, but why I was frustrated afterwards was I felt we could have defended a little bit better our 18 yard box they created too many opportunities for the final third entries they got um, and obviously to concede from a set play is disappointing again because obviously the penalties come from, from a corner England next then I uh, appreciate it's only a, a month ago since you, you last played them it doesn't feel like that no it doesn't it doesn't no we've uh, had a lot of games haven't we in that period um, look they're, they're, they've got an experienced coach we definitely won't underestimate them they gave us a tough time there we, can, we scored obviously two later on in the game but we need to make sure we bring the energy tomorrow we're at home we need to put our home form right of course, you won't have seen what they did at the weekend because they didn't play. Um, so, on the positive side, there's one less game to review. But uh, you know, how are you how are you looking at them coming to this with perhaps a little bit more freshness? Well, it's a bonkers season if you're getting uh, games called off for what log pitches in May. I think that probably sums up the season. To be honest, it's uh, it's all over the place. But hopefully, we can take advantage of that. Um, you know, with the with everything that's gone on. Uh, it's remarkable the season's still going ahead, to be honest. And um, you know, credit to Kings Inn and, and Woking because you know they haven't given up. They're playing full-bloodedly in all the uh, minutes they're playing. I've watched Kings Inn's games back, and they're they're still trying to play the right way or in their own identity that what they want to do. And I'm sure they're building towards next year, so they're going to come here and, and have a right go. Four games to go, and, and hopefully more than that. Can you see light at the end of the tunnel of this season now? Oh well, yeah, it's, it's it's remarkable that with all the adversity we've had, and I said there'll be some, I didn't think there'd be quite as much as this, but we've got quite a bit of it. Um, it's important that we we really take advantage now. And, and what's, what I'm most happy about is 
with the tough times that we've had in the community and other communities, but this community in particular, Chesterfield, we've given some hope to people and that's what we wanted to do here. When we came in, in in December or November with my management team and the players that have joined me, I've said that to everybody. What I wanted to do, the main objective is to give people hope, give something, some, uh, gives people something to look forward to. And we've now got um, these remaining games where we can achieve something um, and it's an exciting place to be. Yeah, and it would be a remarkable achievement given all that stuff that's been thrown at you throughout the season. And, and look, you know, that sort of stuff, injuries, yes, perhaps that kind of thing comes up, but, you know, COVID, no fans, the starting position you had and all that sort of stuff, none of that comes in your coaching course. So what, what's the biggest lesson that you've taken from this season as, as, as a coach and a, and a manager? Oh, perhaps ask me that at the end of the season, whenever that is. I think that would be a good time to ask me that. But there's been a lot of learnings, of, of course. We can learn in whatever field of practice we, we undertake in our lives. We can learn every day. It's when you are not open-minded to that and you think you've you finished your learning is when you, you run into trouble. I'm learning every day as well as all the, the, managers, uh, the management team and the players. And look, we're just taking one game at a time. Um, we need to learn from Saturday as well from the good things and the things that we could do better the the result can never mask the performance we have to focus on the performances because the results take care of themselves just finally from me James you'll have seen over the weekend Southend and, and Grimsby challenging their relegation to the National League on the basis that the National League doesn't have relegation itself what do you make of that? I just think it's never ending the things that are going on and it, it's a bit over the top now that you know I can't really um comment because it's out of my remit um, obviously with people being promoted or teams being promoted out of the National League into League 2 there obviously has to be the reverse of that James thanks for your time Thank you. good luck Thank you. Morning James Morning how are you? Um, I'm fine thank you um, a good result on Saturday plenty of positives for the supporters is that how you see it after you've had time to reflect? Yeah uh, I, afterwards I alluded to that don't underestimate a 4-1, obviously a way victory at this level. It's um, You can only beat the opponent in front of you. Yes, they had a couple of players missing, but they had a couple of players back as well with National League experience. So, look, it's a good result for sure. And obviously it keeps us or puts us back on track to where we want to be. Um, and we can build from that. There's many things happening in the game, like I just said, in regards to Tom, Joe and Marcus starting. They haven't started for a while. Jack McCourt got minutes albeit out of position, but he conducted himself very well and that bodes well for, for the upcoming games. Um, the only negative, of course, was the injury to Fraser Carr. Does this, together with other injuries, uh, give you a lot of, a bit of a selection headache for the coming matches? Yeah, there's, there's quite a few um, players that are touching go for tomorrow evening, so um, let's just see how the next 24 hours unfold. But got to have a fine balance because obviously we're, we're at the business end but we don't want to risk our players for, for the remainder of the season either so yeah it's a fine balance but I'm sure um, with the staff around me we can come up with the, the right team selection that 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 meets that balance so we can get a positive result but also not risk the players um, for the remainder of the season like I said. Well despite uh, Kings Lynn supporters saying they're fielding a weakened team in order to complete their fixtures uh, can we expect another tough match tomorrow? Of course. Yeah, they've got a talented group. They've got very technical players. Um, they play with a, an identity that they, they follow. They don't come away from that identity, which is credit to, to what they're doing there. They've had success before this season and obviously they're going to be in the National League next season. So they've probably ticked their objective already for this season in, in terms of their, their remaining in the National League for next year. So they've got... Um, no fear here they can come and enjoy the occasion but we'll be ready for that and um, you know we've got our own objectives and you know we've got four games now and this is one of those four that we need to get a positive result out if we want to achieve what we set out in uh, in November